One of the most aesthetically extreme uh, birds is the great argus, uh, a kind of pheasant found in Southeast Asia. Um, when, after Darwin wrote The Origin of Species, uh, he was challenged by the Duke of Argyle in an anti-evolutionary tract uh, to examine uh, the feathers of the great argus pheasant, which include these beautiful um, golden spheres, like a three-dimensional optical illusion arrayed on the, uh, on the wing feathers. Uh, um, indeed, Darwin spent a long time trying to hypothesize how these beautiful spheres could evolve from intermediate states through the process of mate choice. Um, in the coming century, uh, the first person to ever see, the first uh, uh, scientist ever to see the uh, display of the Argus pheasant was William Beebe. He traveled to uh, Borneo where he spent months studying the bird in the wild and only getting occasional glimpses. Uh, First, he found a male territory where the six-foot-long male pheasant displays in an area about the size of a quarter of a basketball court. He clears the, 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 the soil and waits for a female. Well, when Beebe built his first uh, blind or hide right next to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the display site, the male abandoned. Later, he tried building a tree house over another one, and the male abandoned as well. In his third attempt, he had his assistants dig a foxhole in the ground right by the display site. And every morning he got into the, into the hole and was covered up by, with brush. And he spent all day hiding inside of a foxhole in, in, in the forest in Borneo. After a week, finally, a female visited this male and he was able to see the amazing display of the Argus pheasant. In this case, what happens is the male opens his wings and arrays his, uh, uh, his wing feathers like a blown out umbrella, creating a hemisphere that, that is suspended over the female. In this case, the golden balls uh, on, his, on his wing feathers are suspended in the air, uh, uh, shaking and uh, right over the female's head. It's, 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 it's an amazing and, and, and striking display. How could this have evolved? Well, Beebe, when he looked at them, uh, noticed that the hen, the, the, the Argus pheasant female, was basically stoic or unresponsive. And he wrote that, it's clear to me that any aesthetic impact of that display is wasted on that little hen. <laughs> In other words, he couldn't imagine that she was having the kind of aesthetic experiences that he was. Of course, he'd been spending months in search of this bird and, and a week sitting in a hole in the ground. He's having a religious experience, right? But he, he, he imagined that the bird should be uh, dramatically moved. But I think he got it fundamentally wrong. In fact, behind every evolved ornament in nature, like the Argus pheasant uh, display. There's an equally elaborate and co-evolved cognitive concept about what is beautiful. The better uh, way to imagine uh, the female's behavior is like a connoisseur uh, or art collector at, at, at an art exhibition. Uh, how do they regard this new art? Well, critically, with some, with some, some discernment. Right? And this is exactly the, the attitude of the, of, the, of the great Argus female, right? because she, through her choices, is really responsible for the uh, elaborate evolution of those ornaments. Now, is the display of the great Argus uh, an honest signal of male quality or merely beauty happening? It's an interesting question that still isn't resolved. But I believe that there are so many dimensions to this ornament that it is unlikely that it could communicate quality. In this case, all of the different uh, uh, golden spheres, their, uh, their, their, their array uh, over the female, the, the many other uh, elaborate details to the display, each one of them could only evolve as an, honesty, as an honest indicator of quality if they were independently associated with additional information about mate quality. That, right? Each cost would only evolve if it uh, provided information. So I, I think it's extremely unlikely that aesthetically extreme displays like the Argus pheasant evolve because of honest advertisement or adaptive Wallacean mate choice. I think they're another fantastic example of beauty happening. Mm -hmm.